You think you're worthy, the king? <gasps> Mordred is wrong by you. He thinks you're a traitor. The truth is, you're nothing more than a murderer. Where were you? While well, my father was fighting to keep Camelot safe. I offer a thousand thanks to your father. On behalf of all of Camelot! Who okay, cares the other thousand slain? Whilst you train Corral and Robert short women. And now, just because your whole wife is in danger, you see fit to return. You know nothing. I fight only to protect our land and the queen to whom my heart belongs. I fight for my father. Let me go. I shall right your suffering. Oh, but it is not just me that has suffered. It was my choice. You'd be dead already. I must keep my end of the bargain. Does everyone enjoy pain as much as your queen? Do not tempt me to show you. I need not be shown. Every night I hear his screams. And unlike you, Mordred will not tie of a hand! <laughs> Fear offends me. Fear only I may kill a lady. Lady? You speak of the wrong woman. Do not force my hand. Says Hail Faust to me. You will kill Queen of Ed. God forgive me. Do you mind? This is my castle to explore. As is your body, my queen. Not so brave now. My body is no more yours than the throne. Where does a boy, who thinks so little of himself, find the nerve to claim the very honor that scares him so? To steal the role of a man who puts terror in his heart? Child, your father is coming, and when he does, and you're down on your knees begging him for mercy, you wonder why you, a pathetic little rat, ever decided to take so much and leave so little for the Camelot you betrayed.
Tell me, are all Arthur's men so fragile? Who do you speak of? No one, my queen. You can't be real. Fear not the truth, my lord. Come closer to me. You look so cold, my love. Tis I, Lancelot, and I would not harm you. Camelot. My lord. Welcome home. No sign of Arthur. Poor Lancelot. He must have been a mere. I didn't think you'd come so easily. Voltigany enjoyed your taste. Or should I say... The one who got away. Camelot thinks you're strong, Sir Lancelot. But we both know the honor that drives your sword. I could not have asked for a finer wedding gift. Tell me, how is my father? He cares nothing for you. 
You don't think I know that? You don't think I've always known that? The hall is mine. did what you had to do. Look upon me! I am no king! I talk, but do you listen? A king does not mourn his own betrayal. He does not fight so others can rest. He does not survive because he fears death. He endures so that he can protect his people, his country. But most of all, he endures so he can empower those who cannot, who dream of sitting at the round table beside the man they spend every minute of every day aspiring to be, so that they, one day, can be every inch that man, you, their king. your sleep. She's gone. Merlin. She's gone. Only if you believe it, sir. 